Okay, so the observer. The observer with a focus on overwhelm and uh, worry. Okay, so if there's, uh, I'm going to uh, go through. So the thing with the, uh, the observer exercise is if you've got like, I've got a here, a glass case. Now, if you see any object in your room, observe the object and notice that the ob when you're observing the object, you're not the object. You're not a glass on the table or a mug or a lamp or a table. It's very clear in spiritual experience that you are the observer of the mug. So let's take um, overwhelm. Let's take the feeling of overwhelm. If there's a feeling of overwhelm, then um, notice that, say, several days ago, there wasn't a feeling of overwhelm. So if overwhelm comes, or this feeling of overwhelm comes, then it's a, it's a cloud which can come and go. Just like a mug, can, you, know, you can see a cloud come and go in the sky, or you see, can see a table, or you can see a bird fly across, uh, across the garden. So overwhelm is like a cloud that comes and goes. Sometimes it's here and sometimes it's not here and sometimes it seems to come into view and then sometimes it seems to be disappearing from view. So if uh, in this way you know that there is something which observes overwhelm which is not overwhelmed. So if there's a feeling of overwhelm right now, can you be the witnesser or the observer of the overwhelm? You know, like for example, if there wasn't any overwhelm now, there was observing that there was no overwhelm yesterday. And if there's overwhelm now, then there is observing that overwhelm is here now. Just like if there was a blue sky yesterday, there'd be observing of a blue sky. And if there's a cloud in the sky today, now there is observing of the cloud. So can you be the detached observer of the cloud? Also, in that way, uh, if you become the observer, if the observer of the cloud, if you are aware that there is something watching or observing or witnessing the overwhelm, if you get that detachment, if that, uh, if that observer is being affected by the overwhelm, then can you be the observer of that observer? Is there an observer here that's not affected, that is completely uh, detached or not identified with the passing overwhelm? In this way, you realize that consciousness or the witnesser is not a victim of overwhelm. Now, the other thing is worry and thoughts of fear or comparing or whatever they may be. If there's any sort of anxiety or worry thoughts or comparing thoughts in consciousness, thoughts are like clouds, they come and go and they pass. Uh, anxiety is a feeling which can come and go. So you, you'll notice in your experience that these things come and go, thoughts come and go, anxieties come and go. Some days there's no anxiety and some days there's hardly any thoughts or there's no thoughts. So what is here, even if anxiety or thoughts or, or fear thoughts or comparing thoughts are here, what observes this or witnesses this? Can you be the witnesser of anxiety or thoughts? If you're in the witnesser of thoughts, in the experience of the observing, where the, the thoughts are out there and the anxiety is something that's an object out there, in your the experience of the observer, is the observer affected? by these external things that can come and go. So in this way, you explore it. Now, as you do the observer and go deeper into the observer, what's your experience now? Do you feel any contraction? Is the observer limited? Is it contracted? Is it affected by something? Can the observer be affected by thoughts or anxieties or comparing thoughts? If it is, what's watching that? That is, what kind of observer can be affected by these? Is there an observer of that observer? So keep going back until and see if you can get to a place which is beyond thoughts, beyond anxieties, uh, beyond overwhelm, and is free from all of those. Is there a place here in the now that is not subject or hooking in or identified to these things that come and go? So let's just take a minute to reflect on that and I'm going to